All right, historic momentous occasion, take two. This time without coolant leaks. I'd like to thank everybody for their uh, contributions to the cause. Ooh, who's calling? They know just in time. We should like bring them in with this uh, momentous occasion. All right, historic momentous occasion part two. It is time. So you want to start before you take it off the block? Oh man, I'm gonna immediately wrap it up to red line. Just really no. Remember to plan. I'm gonna bounce the, gonna bump the motor with the fuel injectors taken out, so we can uh, prime it. Prime it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the fuel injectors back in. All right, and then I'm gonna start it and I'm just gonna let it idle for a little bit to let the, uh, sorry, let me put the uh, fuel roaches in. Use cooler. Let the roaches run out. <laughs> Old school. So the computer can learn. OBD computer can learn. What's this right here? My band-aid. <laughs> It's from the oil. It's all that dropped in there, I think, is burning off. He's leaking oil? Mm-hmm. Where? Right on top of the oil feed for the turbo. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pu pushing oil out right there on top of the turbo. Okay, so the oil feed line for the turbo was a little loose, just like I predicted it was gonna be. I think what happens is, is that it just, I put it in yesterday, it was a hot day, it was about 98.5 degrees, it cooled down, and then it got hot again. So, uh, you know, but it wasn't bad. It, it wasn't bad at all. It, uh, it seemed like it was doing pretty good. So we're just gonna go ahead and restart it and see what happens.
anyway. Turbo's not smoking anymore. Coolant seems like it's feeding. I just remember I gotta reinstall that heat shield. Looks like there's a little bit of oil pooling, but it doesn't look like there's anything new. Shit, I think we're good, man. I think we did it. I'm gonna let it idle. I'm gonna let it cool. I'm gonna let it idle. I'm gonna let it cool. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna recheck the tolerances on all the bolts, like a pro, especially on the intake manifold. Nope, oh, there's a little bit of more smoke. It's smoking! Sure, haven't overdone it or gone over anything crazy. You know, these things become living creatures almost, you know? Let's see. Let me recheck this torque and make sure. Because it's at 30 Newton meters. That's what the torque specifications are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I went back through it and I went ahead and just went back and ever so slightly tightened up the banjo bolt on the oil feed line just a little bit more. I didn't go too crazy with it. Uh, it did tighten a little bit more and I did use a torque wrench, but I didn't quite do it till the torque wrench clicked because the bolt was hot. It wasn't like searing hot, but I do know that the metal responds differently to when it's hot than when it's cold. Um, and also, if you look very carefully here, and I'll show you, there was a warning sign because there was a little bit of serration there on the washer. You'll see right there where it was about to serrate a little bit. And uh, that meant that I was exceeding the tolerances for the washer. So, you know. Nothing succeeds like excess, but we'll monitor this and we'll see. But the important thing is I didn't want to strip the bolts, the threads, because then I, the whole turbo is trashed and that's a very expensive mistake. So you don't want to do that. The, it looks like, looks like there's some coolant that's kind of vibrating a little bit, but I took a rag and I checked underneath that oil feed line and it's completely dry and I did not over tighten that bolt right there. I just barely did it about finger tight because I did not want to strip the threads because there's a little little nub that's barely hanging that thing on there and honestly it doesn't even really look like it's on there so I don't know what the hell is going on with that thing. That might not even be seated properly so that is something I definitely want to watch. That's not exactly what I call a uh, you know it's not exactly what I call a uh, warm fuzzy feeling. I might want to go back in with a washer and uh, do like a washer. So we'll see. 